Happy Monday? Is it Monday? Is it Friday? I don't know. Happy sometime. Happy just past 5 o'clock. It's that time of the day again. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I do know it's Monday. I did have to look it up. It's that time again, virtual happy hour time. Glad you're along. Let's cue the open and roll it. Here we go. Open time. And time to open up that beverage of choice on virtual happy hour. Here we go. The open, I, I don't even know what's going on. I, why does the open not even playing on the screen? Anybody have any idea? Should I try it again? Should I just try it just to see if it works? Because it's showing me that it's working. So I'm going to try it again. Let's just see if it. Oh, there we go. It's working I didn't see it on the screen. I just saw a black screen. I was hoping it was uh, rolling along. Ultra time. There we go. If you saw the promo earlier, uh, you saw that, uh, yes, we did go to the grocery store. Uh, we did make a run. Well, I say we as a collective we, our house. We adjust this just a tad until she does make her appearance. Uh, the collective we is the family, which would be WD-40. Uh, made the trip to the grocery store. We were actually going together for a while there to the grocery store, but suddenly I got cold feet or lazy or both. Probably more like lazy. But for a while there, we were just making one, uh, exposing one of us to the elements, the elements. But uh, all good. Speaking of W40, I will let her wave from over there. Hold on. Uh, there we are. She's there right there looking pretty in that blue. The cat is right there. The dog is yeah, where are you at, Maps? Is. He's behind me. Come here, buddy. Where are you at? Come here, man. Say hello to the world. Yep, hold on. Dog cam. Say hello to the world. Hello, folks. He is not interested at all. Where are you? Are you interested? Oh, you're going to sit down. Okay. Now, there we go. There we go. Back to me here. Yep, there we go. Sorry about that. Uh, happy uh, Monday, as I said. Uh, virtual happy hour is here. We're rolling right along. You're running what we're doing. If you're the first time you've Happen to stumble upon this little venture, you're wondering, what on earth are you doing? Well, it begins somewhat to 80, 84 days ago. We uh, went into this little lockdown thing, and then we've kind of come out of it, but then we've kind of sort of back in limbo again, sort of, kind of, whatever. Basically, we're all, st here's the deal. We're still wearing masks, so why not, right? We're going to keep doing this thing. While the world is upside down, how about that? Okay. Uh, also, chance get together chat virtually. Chat. Uh, good morning in Australia. Happy Tuesday uh, here in the states. Happy Monday, and everybody grab your beverage of choice. It could be Arnold Palmer. It could be an Ultra. It could be whatever. It could be Brother Obert's uh, good-looking mojito he made over the weekend. I don't know something, but something. Uh, by the way, we got snacks. We have a fresh supply of Snyder's and of the other pretzels. Pretzels, the ultimate bar snack because they're salty and you have to wash them down, right? It's genius. It's like the peanut. You know, the peanuts are genius. And speaking of peanuts, she's been known to uh, farm peanuts. Well, not personally, but she has farmed peanuts. The family has farmed peanuts. So there's a little bit of something about peanut farming. Let's go to bomb cam. And let's bring her up right now from Indiana. Let me bring me down a little bit there. Mom. Can you, Hi. What's going on? You know about peanuts, right? Uh, yeah, I know about peanuts a little bit. I, I know we sell them to a company, and they sell them to a company in Georgia, and they are ballpark peanuts. It's, but we haven't had them in a couple of years. So we are, you know, we're moving on to a plot, test plot of hemp. I don't, yes. think I, can, I don't think I can eat hemp, but I can swallow it probably. Well, the good thing about hemp is most of the hemp uh, plans, at least in West Texas, I don't know where other parts of the country, but at least West Texas farms, it's really a low-risk 
proposition. They're they're basically giving you the seed, which apparently, and I didn't realize this, it's pretty expensive seed. And they're just giving the seeds away, saying, hey, you take them, you take the chance, let's see if we can do it. So uh, it's really, if they're going to give you the seed and let you just try it, it really, outside the man hours, I guess the the uh, the, the extra, you know, the normal costs that go into planting and harvesting, that's not a bad deal, I guess, huh? No, it's not, because everything else we have to plant and and buy the seeds so and we pay an arm and a leg for those seeds so um it, uh, but for regular cotton and whatever so yeah it, it's a no no risk at, i mean it's only a small plot out of the five or so thousand acres that we plant so there you go yeah only 20 acres well first of all i need to apologize to kevin and i believe it's craig i must Why? have been on, i must have been on fire on friday Cause they, no, they, they liked it. Oh, well, that, well I, I, that's not using my, my standard, but anyway, it, it, you call a spade a spade, right? Well, what she's talking about is the announcement on Friday that the American Association was going to play, which is where I would usually be right now in Kansas City. I don't know where we'd be. We'd be probably at home, I think. We just came back from Texas. Right? So, yeah, we would have been in Texas uh, over the weekend and been back to Kansas City. But anyway, one of the short of it is not broadcasting this summer. The American Association is playing baseball, but only in six uh, six teams are playing in three cities using the bubble plur- uh, the bubble hub program, pod, pod system, we'll call it. And Mama's very hot sports opinion. I don't disagree. I'm not condoning. I just kind of step back and let her f- say what a lot of folks kind of said, too. I mean, a lot of folks said the same thing. So you're not alone there, Mom. So uh, all good. I know. Well, and then the second thing is... Uh, why are there man hours when women do most of the work? I love that game, Marie. <laughs> well, it didn't. It didn't come. It did not come from your uh, grandson Bennett. That's for sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, then you know, I started my day out really crazy. I had two meetings today, and the first one I thought was going to be a webinar, so I didn't. I just had my pajamas on. So when I signed in, I realized, oh no, it was coming from Indianapolis. It was not a webinar. It was a Zoom meeting. So in five minutes, I put I had my pajamas on, but I took my put a top on and I and tried to throw some uh, lipstick on and comb my hair. So oh, so that was at ten o'clock. I was scurrying around here like a mad woman. So I, well, you I, did I, it. You got it. You did it, it. Right. It was very inform and inf- informational. It was the financial aspect of the COVID on nonprofits, and it was very inspirational and then i had my my other um meeting which is uh, every other month it's a, a, a organization another nonprofit called real services that uh we do they do a lot of programs for a five county area here in northern indiana and um so it was that was inspirational not nobody but myself had their visual on there so i ended up cutting off my video because they're not they're they're barely used to using the phone much less uh, all the fancy stuff so anyway (laughs) and then to top my afternoon off my neighbor and i drove over to south bend to see what it looked like at the four winds casino so what it looked like well we it was like there was never nothing ever happened there were more cars there as many cars there as usual they stopped us Hmm. there were three men before you got to where you turn into the parking garage, one asked us if we were 21. <laughs> the other one asked us if we had an animal in the car. The other one asked us if we had, had been exposed to COVID. And then they we, so, just, drove, we just drove on the, in, but we didn't get the, out. The COVID, just, thing I, the COVID thing I get, but the whole animal in the car and the ID thing, I'm a little nervous about their well, about them. I mean, well, yeah, what's up well, with that? They didn't. They didn't look like the top-notch uh, security people. They were just people in, you know, uh, safety jackets and stuff. So anyway, we huh. drove through the copper well. parking parking lot, and there were there were as many cars there as you could imagine. It was three hours after it opened. And the whole, well, so uh, there's a joke was, there, like maybe Seattle's going to be like that soon because, but I, I can't think of the joke. But yeah. I don't know. Well, anyway, so yeah. then we left and we decided we weren't going to drive to New Buffalo. We figured it would be the same scenario. And so we, we went to eat outside. We ate outside at 
up in Granger at a place called Rocky River Tap and Grill and had a great, she and I had a great afternoon. So Are they, um, but they wanted to know what kind of animal, what kind of animals would you guys be no, smuggling into the said, casino? You don't have an animal in your car. Well, I don't know. What would, what would we do with an animal? I mean, except those well, people. Obviously, are, you're, obviously, you guys are driving, so you don't need a seeing eye dog. Um, well, but, but a, a there are a lot of people have comfort comfort dogs. Well, maybe it's a parrot you're on your shoulder, maybe. I don't know. I don't Do you know. know. I don't know. But we laughed and we said, nope, just us two animals. That's it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, so that was my experience for the day. Well, that sounds so, like a fun time. I'll, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, well, hey, I, I, I got up early. That was that was the secret. <laughs> so, but I. I I, uh, I, if you'd have seen me in my flesh, you would have just thought, oh, my God, my mom looks like something I never dreamed of before. Did, did you uh, happen to see, speaking of, uh, well, interesting sights, uh, did you ever see your son Chris's post a while ago, or a couple hours ago from well, Padre? Which Padres? one was Bennett? That? I don't even know which one Bennett is. Is that, the, is, is that him in the long hair, my, or my nephew Bennett? Is he now, like, gone with the... Uh, the disciple look from the old from the New Testament, or well, what is that? He's working was, there. Was he standing next to Chris? I think so. That looked a little bit like he looked like he was kind of sporting the the a perhaps beard? I fished in the perhaps the Sea of Galilee with a bit of a stubble. You know, he had that. He looked very much of a uh, uh, a very interesting character, and that's him. Yeah, he I, doesn't I, pull I, off the hair like his, his brother does. Well, I, it didn't even look like him. But I, his legs did. His legs are kind of funky. And I thought, that's got to be him. Got, but, but Maxwell pulls that look off. But I'm not so sure that, uh, I don't know, just as curious. But uh, yeah. we yeah, weren't sure. We were I, I, I didn't know well, which one he was. So anyway, yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, so we I were, will. I we will. Were, yeah, uh, maybe, uh, maybe his long walks work. Uh, get, make him look smart. smart. It works. It makes for Ma works for Maxwell, she said. She's, uh, yeah, well, it's not that he's not... It's not that he's smart. It's that maybe the long locks will make him work harder. That maybe. The there you go. There you go. There you go. There you so, go. Anyway, I'm going to get off. And, I, and, and, and if Kevin's out there, Kevin Luca, he better get his butt on the video on this be, be live. He hadn't been on in a while. I want to see him in his western hat. <laughs> okay, I'll okay. see. So we work that for you, Mom. I'll see you. I'll, you. See, I'll see you on the other side of the mountain here. All right, love you, mom. Love bye. you. Bye. There's mom cam right there because we have a pretzel. Thank you, mom. Very good stuff from mom today. She was uh, just fired up on Friday. Let's see here. Tim, good to see you. Karen, Donna, others. See you guys on Monday. Yeah, mom was fired up. Uh, all good, though, mom. Uh, by the way, if you'd like to uh, just to hop in the green room, do it, mom. Did. Now, of course, we'll take the chat. You can chat right now if you'd like. It'd be great. 95 degrees in Dallas Fort Worth, although uh, it doesn't feel quite like 95, but again, I'm in the shade, so your data 84. But we'd love to have you guys on. Uh, you can go to the virtual green room, we'll get you on, and we can chat about whatever the dog's begging for pretzels, which he hates. It's the other thing this guy will eat anything. The only thing you find he won't eat, he's not always a fan of pretzels. And what else, WD 40? He's not eating. W40. What else does the dog not eat? Lettuce. Lettuce. That's it. Lettuce. Yeah. Like celery. And celery. He likes carrots. Carrots. He likes those. Well, he's sitting right here at my knees and he's like, he's like right here. Let me show you. There we go. He's right there begging and waiting, thinking that something like a cheeseburger is going to fall from my plate. There's no plate for starters. And there is no cheeseburger. And again, it's uh, put this back up here. It is uh, pretzels, and he he didn't, which is weird because dogs, you know, they like salty stuff. I mean, and, and and for some reason, the pretzel he's just not a huge fan of. And I've dropped him before, and he just looks at him like. Eh. Well, peanut butter he likes those. One's peanut butter. Well, he likes peanut butter in general. Let me pull this down just a tad. All right, how's everybody doing today on a Monday? You guys, how was your weekend? I saw Donna out there. She. Uh, so on Facebook, she had planted a, a bunch of new stuff there in her uh, garden. Craig, mom, by the way, Craig is up in Winnipeg. Mom says she's sorry for being out of hand on Friday, but I think it's all good. I don't think Craig was too offended. All good with that. Good to see Billy out there. Billy, I hate to see that 
and the news of the weekend that Houston's on Beltline. What's up with that? Part of our youth, right, Billy? I know GM and I, although I seen her called a couple of uncomfortable dates I had there back in the day, like as a teen, sporting the letter jacket and kind of uncomfortable, uh, you know, hope I have enough money for the date and to tip the guy a buck. You know, you know, you know, those high schools are big tippers even back in the eighties, but uh, yeah, the, uh, saw the Houston's moving to location. And they, what, what I didn't get though, Billy, and, and just on the side, GM and I were talking about this, how on earth at this day and age, this juncture of what we're going, what we're going through with all the closings and all that stuff. How do you have, how would they have any trouble or give them any trouble with their rent? I don't get it. I got a real dear friend of mine from church who actually works in that business, not that company, but a business that does do commercial real estate. And they've been really, he's talking about how, how they take a, you know, a, a hands-off approach in general to uh, trying to, strong on these folks for rent. So I don't know the whole story there. I did not see the story of the morning news, although I did see this afternoon uh, a couple of stores, not stores, a couple of restaurants had had some issues and they had to uh, go and just shut down temporarily. And that's part of this new wave. I mean, we saw today in the Metroplex, a couple of things. A, adjusting here. Internet's kind of getting wonky here too. Uh, a, uh, some of the Dallas Cowboys tested positive. Uh, there was been some collegiate athletes here and there, other places, no surprise. I, th I think you're going to see just about any large group of folks, you're going to see one or two possibly test. I saw Zeke Elliott was one of the ones, the uh, Cowboy running back was one of the Cowboys rumored to be uh, testing positive. But again, I think you're going to see a little bit of that and going forward. That's just going to be the, we're kind of Running out of things to uh, COVID talk about, so let's do that. So, uh, all good. Glad you guys are along on a Monday. Uh, w four to be here in a moment. I think I may have lost you guys here. Let's see here. Uh, Going to see Kelly, Kevin. There you are, Kevin. Uh, Mom apologized to you for being out of hand on Friday, but I just told her she was out of hand, and and what the heck, it wasn't out of hand at all. So, uh, all good with that. All right, let's see here. What else are we missing here? Life's in the paper. Uh, I don't see anything else here. Just uh, exciting stuff. Uh, yes, the wife will be joining me. This is easy there. The cords there, bud. What are you doing? What are you doing? Nothing. Okay. All right, yeah, you can't join us in the green room. We'd love to have you. And uh, if you don't want to join us, all good. Again, the chat line is chat line is open as well. Let me do one little thing here, too. Talk amongst yourselves, folks. Um, there we go. <laughs> uh, yes, Kevin says no apologies needed. It livened up the trip. Yeah, Kevin, where did you go? You went to uh, – uh, I'm not really sure where the town was you went, but you went to some – Someplace out in the, I don't want to say rural area, but it must have been a little smaller town that had baseball. I mean, he actually found live baseball. I'm not sure what kind of, uh, maybe you can call it town ball or whatever. That's where he was. Hey, what's up there, John? Good to see you, buddy. How you doing, man? Long time no see, brother. Hope you're doing well. All righty. Yeah, good to see you, bud. Uh, hope you're doing good. Hope you had a good weekend. Whatever you're doing, uh, we are surviving here. Uh, again, like I mentioned, the wife, we, we really haven't done a lot. Uh, it, we, did get, we did get some announcements. We did, we did get a little news. Uh, of course, I told you guys on Friday, we knew the baseball season for me was done. Uh, for others, the six teams up north, uh, Winnipeg, St. Paul, Ch uh, Milwaukee, Chicago, Sioux Falls, and Fargo, they're all going to play, but uh, the other six in our league aren't going to play. So that was the big news on Friday. Over the weekend, we did find out that uh, uh, despite what you're hearing, now granted, again, this is all how you look at it. Uh, the cases have gone up, hospitalizations have gone up, plenty of beds are available. With all that going on, they're still opening up more, and we found out that our church will actually be having services in the flesh in July on the 19th just a little over a month away. So, uh, you know, that's looking down the road, uh, but that is a sign of sort of good things to come. I mentioned a couple of years ago, a couple of years ago, a couple of weeks ago, how the American Airlines, a big business here 
and Southwest. Both are based in Dallas-Fort Worth, the only only metropolitan area in the country with two uh, major airlines host or based here. Uh, Love Field is where Southwest is. Uh, Fort Worth where American is. That's pretty cool. But uh, uh, the airline industry is very big about DFW and uh, the economic impact. And we have a lot of friends who work for both carriers. Um, the good news is it looks like travels and going the right direction. Uh, they've got some, they've added, actually added more planes over the weekend. Uh, American and Southwest both brought out planes that were in limited storage. So that's a good sign. Delta did as well. So that's always a good sign. Let's see if we can catch up with the chat here as well. Uh, Kevin went to, Kevin went up to a little town called St. Martin, 30 minutes southwest of St. Cloud. Major League Onion Burgers there. How, how about that? Kevin, I've ever told you about my favorite ballpark food ever was the Brat Burger in Cedar Rapids. I think I gave, I think the two years I was in Burlington, Iowa, when we played Cedar Rapids, I about ate a hundred of those things. And probably the main reason I got fat that year was because that, the, cheap beers, I guess. But uh, yes, the Brat Burger was my favorite. Yeah, the Onion Burger, sounds pretty good. Uh, GM says she's still mad. John, my friend, he says, Shram, you as well. Yeah. yeah. I'm hanging in there, bud. Hanging in there. Hope you're doing good. I know you guys are busy. Uh, let's see here. WD says, it's only a good sign of no one gets sick. Yes, that's true. Um, uh, yeah, that's true. And then uh, let's, uh, we'll get this in a second. Uh, I, I once again, the wife wants to give me a haircut live on the air, but I don't know if we'll do it. That was such a bad show. We're not going to do it again, I don't think. I don't think we'll do it again. All righty. Let's see here. We do have green onion brats on occasion, Kevin said. Kevin, we actually, I, I did discover that there's a, a place here, uh, Market Street, as the garbage man's on. Second time that they've been here. They've been here twice today. You realize that? 70, 40? They've been here twice today. Why are the garbage guys coming twice? Maybe we're getting recycling ones. Okay, okay. Recycling, maybe. Okay, that may be it. Uh, Kevin, I did discover the green onion brat, you know, was great, but they have a couple of specialty brats at both the uh, Central Market and Market Street. I'd forgotten all about that. We actually tried over the weekend a green, yes, the white, we mentioned it. There we go. Let her, let her tell us. She had the, uh, we had the green, uh, hatch green chili brats. So they were really good. They were really, really good. And, uh, hey, you gotta like your flavor brats. The dog's about to go crazy here. Uh, WD-40, you ready to join me here? And, uh, while she's going to join me, I'm going to slide over. You're going to bring that over this one. Which one? Okay. All right. going to slide over it. My wife will join me. Actually, before you do. Now, what, one quick beer run. And she, be careful there, man. There we go. She's going to run it real quick. We'll have the uh, adult beverage. But, yeah, this is twice that the, the, the city of Dallas garbage trucks have come by. This has got to be recycling because the first one what we had in the trash. So I uh, thought we were through all that already. But thank you very much, dear. Grab your chair. There they go. Actually, give you a live shot of the boys in the air. Here we go. You can see it right. Okay, the folks, people. There, you see the truck right there. I think that is the recycling bin. I do that's, believe. That's oh, that's trash. Recycling. Okay, recycling was earlier. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, let's turn this a little bit more toward you. Slide a little closer to me. Okay, we take these off until we, if we get a guest, I'll plug it back in. That looks terrible. Well, I'm going to tell you. I really didn't do myself today. I mean, I'm showered and dressed, but I do my face. Okay, well, I'm going to try to, I kind of keep this but a little more. if I more. drink enough rum and coke, then maybe I won't notice. Okay, well, I don't know. That's what you're trying to say. These they, remind me of Belize. They should probably drink more rum and coke, what you're saying. Maybe so. Okay. I'm not sure what you. Maybe I won't care. Is what I'm saying. Uh, if I drink more rum and coke, I won't care. Okay. I, won't, I won't be able to see. Uh, let's see here. Where are we at here? Uh, 
Uh, how am I upset about the, the MLB dilemma? That's a good question. Should we rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? How upset? Uh, Six? Uh, yeah, I, I would. I'm, I'm not sure to be mad at, to be honest with you. I think that baseball at the major league level has had a heck of a time getting out of their own way over the years. What are you doing? I'll put it on me. Well, then we'll pick you up. Well, you're not doing it the right way, but okay. I'll just lean over. Um, Major League Baseball, let's put it back on where you're at. Put it back on, sweetheart. No, just, that's fine. There we go. But this is not a, it's not a, okay. Oh, yes. Yeah, couple. I guess the couple came up too, right? Yeah, why does it smell funny right here? I don't know. The whole, whole backyard stinks. Like, no, it doesn't smell. smells like. It smells like it a dead smells animal. Like a, it smells like a late night in New Orleans in July, maybe August. It smells like a dead animal. It smells like the French Quarter late late at night about 3 a.m. But, but it doesn't smell that way over there. Awful. It's terrible. Anyway, um, Kyle, good question. I Well, they're all good questions, but I, I'm not either side. Baseball in general, and maybe this is my political way of saying it, because I have I, – I, I have friends, well, I shouldn't say friends, I have people on both sides of the fence. I mean, there's players I know, and I, I, I know what they're going through, know what they're going through. I, I get their point of view. There are folks I know in the front office, they're not ownership necessarily, but I kind of can, can sympathize with their side of things too. Basically, I, I think I think this all, and I'm going to kind of maybe outside the box here, I'm going to place the blame at the man in the middle. I mean, I'm not so sure that the commissioner of baseball is actually – done that much. I guess I'm looking back now, looking back at that Bud Selig wasn't so bad after all. Um, I saw this afternoon about two hours ago where Major League Baseball, you know, initially when they couldn't come to an agreement this week, they just threw their hands up and basically saying, Commissioner, you decide what we're going to do. That he came out again saying, because he backtracked on his comments from last week, saying we're going to play no matter what. He kind of said, well, I don't know for sure. Do you think it's like staged like they really don't want to play and they're sort of having this battle to prolong it to where well, they're just saying there, never mind we're gonna give up that theory has been advanced in the nba apparently there were 80 nba players who all got together on a conference call last week and the nba sort of had their plan in place to go forward playing in orlando and but there were some of those guys who were out who were out of contention there were some players especially now that the george floyd thing has happened they want to do more things in the community. Sure. Uh, there was really, really the three reasons they were giving them not want to play was taking their money and using it in their community, setting up things to help their community. Those are the two things they're going to do most of all. And that was not just African Americans, also you know players of all of all types were all wanting to help out, and they were not asking, "Hey, I want to win a or not saying, "Hey, I want to win a championship." They, that was not the goal. Most of the, yeah, because there's bigger things. This conference call apparently was uh, Kyrie Irving and others were involved with this, that, that they were all talking about bigger things, social changes, and that they were not as concerned about playing basketball. And I think that same prevailing wind is starting to happen a bit. I think you're seeing some players who don't want to play. I, and I don't blame them. I think there's some who do want to play. Well, it's so late. They're going to end up playing in the hottest part of the season. And you still don't have people comfortable, really comfortable with going out in places there's still ways that you could make it safer because everything I've read said if you're outside, it tends to be better. Um, well, you could space yourself out. Yeah, we were talking about this in just in terms of church, like yeah. every other pew, yeah. like every other row, like well, well, even here in Texas, they'll be two seats to, between families. They'll be allowed to have in the fall at worst. This came out uh, over the weekend or Friday at worst, or maybe it was yesterday. Worst case scenario. College football in the fall will have fifty percent fans. That's the worst they're going to have. So did you get our season tickets? Well, that we will. We're working on that. That's not the conversation we're having. I'm having it. Again, I love this woman with all my heart, but her her bouncing from subject to subject is almost as bad as me trying to teach English. So just relax. Come on. I'm trying not to get with Kyle. It's it's a. I'm not a lot of folks, Kyle, but. Usually it's me, so I'm happy it's deflected well, to baseball. I mean, it's just uh, not really. I don't know. Let's see. Let me see. I, mean, I don't want to really answer it. I, I'm I'm upset there's no baseball because I want. Well, 
think of it this way. I'm going to use this microcosm of Texas. Uh, the Rangers have a brand new ballpark that the taxpayers will foot the bill for. Majority of the bill. The whole brand new development that's also right there. Uh, folks have been hired to work in the service industry and worked in the hotels and all that over there. And, uh, that business is going to suffer this year. Uh, Arlington, the city, wants to make that a, a destination all of its own. And suddenly, no baseball. Um, their only hope is to have football in the fall and even then at limited capacity. I mean, there, there's a lot of trickle down effect here. Um, but yeah, that, I guess it's two answers. A, I'm, I'm, I'm upset more at the COVID situation, that the fact that, and this is going to, God, I don't know how to even say this without sounding like a terrible interview being, but I'm not happy with China, to be honest with you. I'm just not. I'm not happy with, with the way it was handled. I'm just not. Uh, a lot of folks' livelihood. Lack of transparency. Ours included. Uh, the concession workers, hotel workers by the ballpark, they're hurting. They're going to hurt. It's all going to trickle down, all effect. Now, I still believe that somehow, some way, they could have come to some kind of agreement. It, it makes the game look bad when you can't come to an agreement. It's 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 a billionaire. Well, particularly billionaire. When, it's in, when it's about money. Yeah, when it's about money. And this is a day. Now, granted, and this may all be the argument, maybe a boot argument, because what if? Let's just say, and I think this is part of the problem. What if there's not enough tests? I mean, how do you test these folks, these millionaire millionaire athletes, when you can't test your own folks in your neighborhood? And I think that's a real slope that they they're going to. Yeah, that, that looks they, bad. They avoid that. What they should have done is probably not argued about money and said, you know what, we have some money issues, but that's not the reason. We're not playing because until everybody else, every, every concession worker, every guy who works yeah. wherever, whatever it is you do for a living. So every American get a test, every American citizen get a test for free or whatever, there's available tests, then we'll play baseball. I think that would be the better message of, of the argument. Then you could have masked it with how you wanted to. Mask it, pardon the pun. Well, yeah, pardon the pun. They could argue that they're going to argue about money anyway. But, I mean, even if they do play ball, there's still a lot of questions to be asked. I can tell you right now, I heard Joshua, uh, Joshua Schaub today, the American Association, and they, they were even – they still have questions – they haven't answered quite yet about how they're going to go about business in the pod cities with, with the American Association. So there's a lot to be answered just because they agree on playing. I think the better thing would have been, hey, for the social, for the socialness of it all, let's let's donate our efforts to helping folks who can't get a test. That would help. But anyway, yeah, what are you doing? Can I go get something or mess with the microphone if I come right back? What are you doing? I just wanted to get the other pretzels. They're right here. I know, but I wanted the other flavor. Oh, my goodness. Okay, go ahead. Do what you got to do, babe. Um, anyway, uh, um, so that, that kind of answers, not only answers, but covers the question uh, there. Let's see here. What else have I missed here on virtual happy hour? Uh, uh, Kevin says, a PA announcer recited COVID uh, suggestions that were violated by, and that's the thing. I just heard this while ago on the news. Uh, there was apparently a street in New York. I don't know what street it was, but apparently – there's a place in New York City where one side of the street, the restrictions are allowed. I've been, I've been loosened a bit. And one side of the street, they're not loosened. And I guess the thing was, is the, the, the quote was, is how are they going to police that? How are you going to, is the governor going to walk in and on one side of the street, shut everybody down and, and find them all that are violate the, the rules? And how is that going to work? And I, I don't know. It's kind of like my dad used to say. You know, the, the lock only stops the honest man. If you want to get in, they're going to break down the door, right? You know, you, you want to get in, the alarm may stop them from initially getting in, but they'll just sh shatter the glass and come on in. And the rules are there, but it doesn't mean they're going to be followed. That's the sad part, Kevin. Yes. That's what Kevin was talking about. Yes. Uh oh, sorry about that. I played behind your concession stand workers. Let me tell pull this down here. Would you get some away? Uh, we're supposed to social distance, but uh, malls are supposed to be sanitized. sanitized. Okay. Again, there's a lot. There's a lot to be. Uh, a lot to be. Uh, what does it mean in terms of sanitizing balls? Like, you mean after each pitch? Like, I mean, like, after, like, what does it mean? They're gonna have to have more. Is the well, umpire gonna have to have more balls? Probably. It probably also would mean you're gonna have to have, you know. The balls are up now before the ball game. 
and they're probably, you know, rubbed down, spit on, whatever, that's also a concern as well. I mean, but they're catching them with gloves. I understand that, but that's, I mean, they, again, these are all, these are all, there's no science in any of that. I know. So, I mean, and again, science is really what we're all looking for tonight. Uh, Kyle uh, says, <laughs> yes, I uh, pull the curtain back. Yes. Kyle, when Kyle was interning uh, with the T Bones, the Railcats, was that 2016 or 15? 15. Maybe? 15. Um, he has a pretty, pretty, pretty spot on. You need to get that away from me. Pretty spot on Harry Carey impression. And he actually came on the air with us and did the Harry Carey on the broadcast. It was pretty good. It was really good stuff. Very good stuff, as a matter of fact. All right, let me show you here. Well, Kevin says. That's hilarious. What? That's hilarious. Kevin's com comment. I went to sign a waiver on Saturday night's game. I signed a cold. cold uh, he signed a cold vid. vid. <laughs> I, was, I was given a squirt. Of, oh, how about that? Hanson and Hires were supposed to last him nine innings. That's ridiculous. You know, I. I We, we, you and I have had this conversation just over and over again. I, we, okay, I, two weeks ago, well, would have been, yeah, two weeks ago, we went out, two weeks ago tomorrow, we went out and hit a patio here in Dallas. We're still standing. Um, there was some uneasiness that week, a little bit. Thursday, I went out to it the felt club, funny. And it was a little uneasy, but again, um, we're still standing. We survived Lubbock. I don't know if that means we're going to be fine or not. I have no idea. Um, you might have had it in January anyway. Yeah, but I just, I just, again, we've, we've gone, we've gone from being in, early. You guys remember this? I was scared to death. I wouldn't leave the house. And now I'm kind of like, yeah, I just told her yesterday, there's no way in the world that I can spend the next three months, four months, five months, six months locked and locked away without any any interaction of anything. I mean, this was us. I mean, we we survived it already once, but I mean, we love each other, but I mean, I got to tell you, I, I, I'm sure he, she likes it. You get, you get cabin fever. Like, you want to you want to get out, which is fine. I get cabin fever, too. Mine's cured a little bit easier because I'm the one who's running around during the day. But um, I would like to, we talked about doing the trip to the Vaughn Heritage stuff. Um, maybe to Arkansas. No, no, that ain't happening. You've never been there. Not going. Yeah, you will. I'm not going to Arkansas. You will. I don't know. I just it, 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 it's just a weird time, man. It's, it's weird, weird, weird. But uh, hey. You know, that's what the good thing is going to do stuff like this. But uh, I sent a message to one of my students about going to Mexico. He was the one who quarantined in Mexico because his parents have a house there. I asked him what he thought, if he thought Mexico was safe. I haven't heard back from him yet. Well, I think Mexico, I mean, it's just not. Why is it? Not I don't really want to have to replace this thing already. I mean, not good. I've only had it for a couple of weeks. My view meter's not going on there. I'm not sure why, but what is it supposed to be doing? It's supposed to be bright when it's talking, and I don't know why it's not talking. But oh well, no. I'll... All right. Anyway. See, I know how to push buttons. So your uh, your, your student says. Uh, yeah. yeah hey. Not... So Kevin, can he broadcast those games? <laughs> No one wants to hear that nonsense. I'm going to be broadcasting town ball games. <laughs> Very few folks will listen to me do a T-Bones game, much less town ball. That's not true. That uh, is true. But anyway, it's all good. You're the sound of summer. You're the voice of summer. Huh. I believe that somebody called you that. That crazy fan. That crazy fan. Remember? The one who like was always... I can't remember what his name was. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay. Rehab you like for your knee or for your alcohol use? Or both? Or both? Or maybe you need the alcohol for the knee? I don't know. 
Well, it's Monday. There's a lot going on, really. I mean, it's kind of like... They are broadcast on the, up there. That's crazy. Oh. Huh. Not that. Oh, huh, that is crazy. Actually, Kevin, Paul and I, Paul Morgan and I both, together broadcast state league games several times. We've done that. A couple of different times we've done... Uh, That's like minor league game. It's not minor league. It's state league is not even... It's the, their version of minor league. Yeah, sort of. It's, it's their version of town ball is what it is. I mean, it's what their version is. But yeah. We <laughs> yeah, don't have so, town ball here. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, hey, what's up, Shane? Good to see you, mate. Hope you're doing well. Good day to you. Good morning to you. Uh, it is uh, 7 till 7 a.m. How about that? In the lovely west. Yes, play-by-play -play man Jack Michaels of Fargo did Little League games. Yes. Actually, I've done – we've done that. We did Little League. We've also did Little League as well, Paul and I did. And I did cover Little League for the World Series in 2012. The cat's going to really eat a bunch of grass again. She's funny. Crazy, crazy. So uh, what's for dinner, honey? Nachos. I'm gonna make some fajita chicken nachos. We actually had a good a good lunch yesterday. We, uh, we, yeah, we went on the patio. It's weird. You pull up to our one of our favorite places we go to at the church, and we obviously weren't at church. And the parking lot looked a little bit. Actually, it's where I shot it. You we guys watched the, it online. You remember the Blue Angels? And they came over. That's where that's where I shot it. Shot that Blue Angels video was in the same parking lot. We pulled up, and it's kind of like the, the sign says immediate sitting available. And I'm like, is it open? Patio was empty, but uh, yeah, there were scattered folks. We had the patio. I our... think people thought that the patio would be hot. It wasn't. It was lovely because yeah. there was a breeze. We were in the shade. Two thumbs up all the way around on the Tupanamba. Tupanamba. Yeah, Tupanamba. If you're ever in the Metroplex, go check out Tupanamba. They're Aggies, but uh, we'll excuse that group. Although I usually sign my because receipt. Because Mexican dude. Usually I sign my receipt because it says Gigam Aggies. I scratch it out and says right record tech. We don't even play those clowns anymore, so. What difference does it make? Doesn't matter. We didn't play them or anything. We, so you're not making a statement to anybody? No. Except I mean, for your server who probably didn't care. Well, at least didn't say go Baylor or something like that. that well, now really... you're going to piss off a lot of people. Oh, well, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm just saying. I mean, I'm sorry that I'm not trying to make anybody mad. I'm just saying that I'm not a huge fan. I know. That's the only reason you'll drop F-bombs in the parking lot after church. Maybe so. Hey, thanks a lot. I don't know my friends at Park City's Baptist that I'm a complete heathen. That's really good. Thanks, but I appreciate it. Thanks a lot for making me look like a complete asshat. Well, you love you. You yell at me for doing the I'm same thing. I'm yelling at you, but you don't want to tell that to everybody else. My goodness, goodness, goodness. Let's oh, see please. Here. All right, well. Our humanity. Uh, we don't okay. have anything really exciting. To, there's just more. Just we went to, to the pool. Yeah, we did go to the pool. That was fun. Uh, sort of, I guess. I mean, we have an apartment pool. It's kind of cool. It's not an apartment. Dirty diaper floating in it and stuff like that. There are no dirty diaper. We don't even have children. Most of the condominiums here, A, are owned. My people, there are a few children, but they're not at the pool because there's no children's area at the pool. Um, it's not lifeguarded. No, no, not lifeguarded. So, no, it's just the condo complexes. We have two pools, tennis courts and Look stuff like us. that. We went to the big pool. It was nice. Yep, she wore floaties. just got redone. I did not wear floaties. Ridiculous. Yeah, look, it was good. That I was have my own personal flotation that, device. That was, that was uh, Saturday, right? Yeah, Saturday. Mm -hmm. Saturday. And you wanted beers. Now we have beer. We need to go back to the pool. Yeah. Maybe, maybe well, this is Monday through Friday's workout until, well, the 5 o'clock, a couple beers, but we got to stay focused on our, our workout. By the way, you uh, accomplished some jogging today i know it's my third day in a row no fourth day in a row of running that was uh friday no thursday i'd gone up our street and then i've added i've been adding on my walking routine i'm trying to get to 30 minutes i started at 17 i'm now in the mid 20s the bare minimum is 20 is, is 17 that's the worst but i've been getting 23 to 26 somewhere there uh 28 get 30 once but i'm, I'm kind of trying to up it and one way to up it is just to start different direction and get to where I want to go, obviously. And I was up and took a left, and I was maybe half mile down the way. And I don't have headphones on, but I thought I heard something tapping click, behind, click, click, behind click. it, but, I, but it was, I didn't really, 
didn't dawn on me this, and I turned at the last moment, and about 10 strides behind me was the wife jogging and just went right on by me. Yeah. Like, meow. Like, yeah, there was no meow to it. Like the cartoon. Like the, the, the cartoon. The, 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 no, there's no dust in in my wake. No. Nope. So yeah, it was. Uh, she was. She was. Uh, that was my fourth day. Our... The first. The first day, I ran literally just sort of around the the street behind us and around because I wasn't sure like if I'd even make it. Like like, but we've been walking so much. I figured, well, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. And I'm lighter this summer, so I figured that wouldn't be so bad. The dog and I did like a so that was foot jog and we stopped. That was so easy. I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna try to go a little bit further. So the next day, I went a little bit further. And again, I was kind of surprised that I could do it. So today I was like, the third day I went the furthest that I had went, still didn't think it was going to be a mile. So let's not get all excited that I'm running long distances. So let's just see how far it is. So today I had downloaded the Adidas Run app and um, that'll map your run and tell you how, how far it goes. So I did that this morning to see how far what I ran yesterday was. And it turned out it was 1.14. And then I did it a little bit further walk to cool down. And I was just surprised. It's slow. I'm running slow. Um, considering that when I was in high school, I ran like a seven minute mile. <laughs> Far cry from that. For a little under seven minutes. I sucked at that too. But anyway. At least I'm out there. No, that, I think it's cool. I mean, I, I, I'd run. I would, I mean, it would cause a very major, uh, catastrophe be on the streets. I mean, it would be bad. So the dog and I ran 10 strides a day, and that was, he wouldn't have anything of it. And I No, was, he didn't like to run. No, he'd already, you know, I was carrying two bags of poo. Two, not one, but two bags of poo. That's how busy that's his That's a successful was. walk. That's how busy his morning was. But, uh, <laughs> no, that's really more of an indication of how busy his yesterday was. Yes, yes. <laughs> good, to see my friend, good to see Brooke and uh, Bobby and others out there. Glad you guys are along. I hope you guys are doing well wherever you are. We're just kind of killing it. Like we don't want, you know, we, most of the time, we don't have anything really planned as far as a uh, format. We don't really have a lot uh, planned. Maybe we should do a TikTok dance. No, probably not. <laughs> I'm, I'm really worried about this piece of equipment. It's driving me crazy. It's not, that this is not working. What is it supposed to be doing? It's supposed to be blinking. It's blinking where? Like, watch. I'm going to turn it down. Hold on. Is it goes. There it goes. It's blinking out. See how it's going out? Okay, yeah. This means I know that the VUB, and I'm seeing it right here. I know we're on. So it's not, I know we're on. Okay, well, now it's blinking. So yeah, put I don't your know what, belly But I mean, I just, anyway. Maybe it fell asleep. You do that while we're watching TV. Yeah, well, some I've already seen. I mean, I've already seen where you fell asleep watching. So. Well, we could talk about what else we were watching. What else we were watching? What else did we watch? Mm-hmm. I finished the Epstein thing, which we're is a, gross. We're in a real, real bad TV drought, too. Uh, we have nothing to look forward to. Breaking Bad is over. I've never been so sad that Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul is over. Um, and Kim's Convenience, I've said that's over. Um, all the fun things that I look forward to over the summer is over. Um, I, the Master of None is pretty good. He's funny. Um, I'm a huge fan of comedies that don't star your typical actor. What, however you define typical old school actor is usually like a white guy. But I love it that they're like more women. There's more different ethnicities there. I love it because they're funny. Um, I don't know. I like that the world is getting more than one view of what it means to be human. Well, I also love it that there's not anything. I mean, there's a, I, I, I don't put, there's been a lot of shows that I'm kind of disappointed in because I'm like, oh, this must be great. There's been some. It's hit or miss. I guess it's like that with anything. I mean, there's some you like more than others. But yeah, we watched that weird movie, Florida Project, yesterday. It terrible. It was interesting. It was a really good. Uh, it's William Defoe is the is the main guy in it. Everybody else was all either first timers or uh, limited timers, except for uh, I can't remember the guy's name from Garland. Oh dang it! Sure. I mean, he's a Garland guy, but he's been uh, he played. Um, he was in that Ebbing, Missouri movie last two years ago. Well, I like that movie. Uh, but I, I can't remember the guy's name. Anyway, um, those are the two main main Hollywood types. But it was, a, it was an interesting uh, story about life. In really, just the, the middle, innocence of these children uh, in, in, a middle, t- in, middle, in the middle of Orlando where you know, right really a, poor. You, you've got the uh, Magic Kingdom right there. And right around the corner is a not-so-Magic Kingdom. So it's very interesting stuff. But, uh, yeah, we got to uh, – 
that team, he's kind of come to a home. We got to pick up the pace there. Although the golf was on this weekend, the NASCAR was on this weekend. I saw a little bit of both. Those are but, boring to watch, but though. Again, unless I'm driving, I don't want to watch yeah, I mean, NASCAR. It's just kind of like, eh. but uh, we got to get find some TV to watch. I guess we'll dig up some of the movies. Maybe the, actually, I, I take it back. I did get the uh, the World of Fire, which is a P, yeah. like PBS. It's it's a BBC World War Two miniseries, seven episodes. Uh, season two will be next year sometime. I've watched all seven. Uh, you watched a couple with me, but it's uh, it was on it was on the BBC, on PBS, and it uh, mostly mostly British. Well, actors, I've been watching but, new episodes of Queer Eye, which I yeah, adore. Good. Those guys are hilarious, um, and I'm only three in. But there's no more marvelous Mrs. Maisel. I could not get enough of her. Um, I could go watch, finish the end of Comedians in Cars, Getting Coffee. That was hilarious. Jerry Seinfeld. Um, there were so many that I watched last year that I really liked. I wish Black Mirror would come out with some new episodes. That's probably one of the smartest things on TV. Um, he says he's out. Just No, I'm not kidding. I, I need to get him to, to watch a couple of them. He would like it. Out. Out, out, out. It's really good. Um, but there's nothing else that I can think of. Well, we'll dive in today. So maybe you guys have suggestions for us. Please uh, send those to us uh, today or Wednesday. It'd be great. And by the way, I want to remind you guys on Wednesday, uh, same time, same place. I'd love to have somebody somebody jump on Wednesday. For that Kevin. Link right there. I mean, I, I know I know this is a pretty. I mean, by the numbers, we're not we're not ratings kings. I understand that. And we, the, the content is pretty meh at best. Um, no one really wants to hear me talk in general incessantly and our opinions, but we just want to visit you guys. So if you guys want to visit, join us, jump on the air on Wednesday. I'd love to have you. I keep putting those reminders out. But uh, I saw that Stephanie was on earlier. I don't know if she still is. Stephanie. Our sister-in-law. Well, there's several Stephanies we know. That's why I'm saying. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. You well, clarify who you're talking Stephanie about. Stephanie that audience. gets number one in our rankings okay. of Stephanie's because okay. she's a family. Right. Stephanie Vaughn. I wondered if she noticed your shirt. Yeah, I did wear the uh, bachelor party. That was from her bachelor, bachelor, bachelor party. party. Yeah. Rock on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get out. I've worn it a couple times on her, I think. So all good. But, yeah, I'd love to have you guys on Wednesday. Jordan's somebody take a brave step. And we had, early on, and I, I think a little bit, I, I know a little bit of it is, most folks are bored with this by now. So i got to come up with some more content to make this a little more lively. Uh, a lot of folks probably just pass right on by it, which is fine. I get it. Uh, they got other things to be doing besides watching this. But. Some of you folks that do stay around, we'd love to have you chime in. So go to that link on Wednesday and uh, join us. It's pretty harmless. It's easy. Uh, or just keep the chats up. Whatever. You know who was on earlier that I would love to have join you? It would be a great show. Charlie. Charlie. Charlie Bradshaw tuned in earlier. Oh, okay. He would be a fun Again, guest. other Charlies we know. Oh, yeah, yeah, we know lots so, of Charlies. So, oh, Charlie Wilson. Charlie Hodges. I mean, there's others. I mean, I, just, I mean. But yeah, we'd love to have you guys join us again. That is the link. It's easy. I would like for Charlie Wilson to come visit us. Okay. Well, you feel free to give them a message. Charlie, that. come visit us. Okay, there you go. Uh, but yeah, it's easy to go right there, and uh, we will. Uh, I, don't to, I don't want to start lining guests up, but be that way. Or any say. other Sigma Chi from Tech you can come visit us. Doors yeah, always open. Uh, doors open for anybody. Yeah, it doesn't matter worldwide. I'm uh, glad, glad, glad you guys are a part of this thing. Let's kind of shut it down here. And I will Let's do this. There we go. Anyway, uh, that is pretty much the sh not pretty much. That is the show for today. We we, we pretty much uh, exhausted any uh, your time and of your time. I, I, again, it's funny because I sat there today thinking, oh, well, e this is easy content. We'll just, we'll just talk. Then I kind of come out of this show thinking this is a terrible show. It's a bad show. What do you think is a bad show? I, just, I, I was all excited it's just conversation. for it, and then all of a sudden I come out of it going, yeah. So we'll get better Wednesday, but we may, we may have to actually plan out the show on Wednesday. But I think that's what makes the show good. We're, that we just have nothing to say? It's like Seinfeld. That is just real life. Okay, if you say. So what's the ratings of this? What do we need to do? Kiss or something? What? <laughs> just kidding. What do you say, ratings? I said, what, what do you, what, how do you want to boost ratings? Kiss or something? You can show your flotation devices, I guess. I mean, that's what you said earlier. No. You're What's terrible. Wrong with you? You're the one who brought that up. All right. Peace All out. Right. All right. She's leaving. Love you. All right. I will shut this thing down. We slide over. Again, I will see you guys on Wednesday again.
I'd love to have you guys again join us on Wednesday. Uh, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, we keep this thing up. Even again, some places it's like one more little handful of those. No, no. All right, we'll keep this thing up. All right, because again, we're almost kind of going in the direction, aren't we? A little bit, sort of. Uh, but. There we go. Does that work a little better? Sorry about that, guys. Uh, the wife just walked off with the microphone. That's why I didn't want her to have it in the first place, but all good. Sorry about that. Um, you guys hear me now? Thumbs up. <coughs> Sorry about that. Here we go. Okay, no sound. Sorry about that, guys. Again, closing things out. Uh, again, the uh, there's my channels right there. Uh, apologize. There we go. Uh, what I was trying to tell you guys, let me go this, this, let's start here there. Here you go. That's the cooking video. Uh, that YouTube page is up, but I'm going to have a brand, I'll give you the brand new link on Wednesday. Okay. Wednesday, Wednesday. So I'll, I'll, I'll do that to you on Wednesday, but uh, that that's the, uh, uh, the, the show, the cooking show right there. I'll have that for you on Wednesday, that link. And then of course, as I mentioned a moment ago, the uh, YouTube, Twitter and the uh, Instagram right there. Those are all right there for you. So please check those out and uh, love to have you check them out. So uh, back to me and we will put the close sign up because we have to shut things down for the day and uh, till next week, actually until next uh, Wednesday, right? Wednesday to Wednesday. It's 40 hours away, 48 hours away. Let's cue that close. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Have a great rest of your Monday. Love y'all. Miss y'all. And we'll see y'all on Wednesday at 5 o'clock Central Time right here on my virtual happy hour. Take it away.